doing like uh, nine one blue. Hello guys, if you can hear me, can, can you type in the chat? Hello. So I post, I spam it everywhere. Every chat I have it should be good. If anyone can uh, hear me, uh, please type in the chat. So turn on your camera and wait. Hello. Can anyone hear me? All right, now there's a thumbs up. Hands up. Okay, can you hear us? Can you hear us? I won't be able to use my camera, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I'll hopefully you have my screen share and uh, the audio. Taking so long. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know my password. <laughs>
kuruyor. Right. Slide and present. No, that's for this. Let me check. Alright. HDMI laptop? No, no. You're using. Yeah, uh, HDMI. Please, please, please. Crystal. Alright. Good. What the fuck? Why is it black? Let's see if it, it kind of works. I mean, it's just not that loud, is it? Okay, anyway, um, hello everybody. Thank you very, very much for coming. Especially you people virtually. I know it must be kind of a pain to not be here in person, but thank you very much for joining us. It's actually kind of crazy. I'm actually really thrilled to see all these people here in front of us. I'm kind of, you know, a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, the nervous of, of excitement. So um, I'm Tony, I'm the head of education. Next to me is Jakub, he's the Vice President of Operations. And once again, we just want to thank you all for investing your time in us and joining our society. In our first workshop, we're going to be teaching you how to make your, first, your own image classification program by using simple neural network techniques. This is going to be lightweight and it's going to be a fun introduction to image classification. And we're going to use this as an opportunity to familiarize you with some fundamental machine learning concepts. Now, of course, it's kind of tough to start with if you have no previous experience, so don't worry. We don't expect you to leave this room knowing how to build your own image classification program. We just want you to understand how it works and to kind of have a foresight into what you're going to be able to learn to do yourself, hopefully by the end of all our workshops. Um, to start off, please join our Discord. 
We are going to be using our Discord to send you some links throughout this workshop. They're going to be essential for you to be able to lead up this workshop. We're also going to use this uh, Discord to communicate with you all of our future events. And please use the workshop to also talk between each other. We, one of our objectives as a society is not to be an unmodulable, but rather to be a big group of friends who learn the eye on the side. So feel free to use our Discord to talk about whatever you want to. There's channels specifically designated for that. <clears throat> Give them a couple minutes. What do you think for now? Well, you go, you pause. Yeah. If you have a Wednesday, Bristol, so I don't know if ever much you need. Which one plays that? It's what's up. She wants to take some people on the Microsoft Teams building. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure the chat is turned on for Teams when person says. Okay, now I'm going to put the comments. Okay, I'm going to put it on the screen. Okay, I'm going to put it on the screen. Okay, I'm going to put it on the screen. Connect it with this. You got USB-C? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a, it goes squish out. Is everybody set up for a couple more minutes? A couple more minutes? Everybody good? No answer? Good. You're ready to share the camera. How? How? <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> Why is your screen so small? <laughs> this happens on the max every time you start with it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Projecting a screen out. Why? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't. Oh, that, that's my fault. Don't, don't join the Kahoot. Don't join the Kahoot. That's my fault. Sorry. <laughs> we shouldn't be projecting this, but we had kind of complications with the technology. <laughs> Oh, yeah, just don't, don't join that. Please, work, work, please, please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, you're making me restart this. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, I can kick you guys out. What am I talking about? <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going to take the code out. <laughs> so, um, as you saw, we're going to be doing a quick move. So, please form teams based on your tables. So, one table is a team. Pick a creative name. Um, this is going to be a very very simple Kahoot, just to see how much you guys actually Come know back. about machine learning. Come back into camera. <laughs> hey, step um, the winner of this Kahoot, just by the way, the team is going to get automatic tickets for our next event. So you better win this Kahoot because that's a big, big prize. Uh, people virtually, please uh, play the games by yourself. I'm sorry you can't form teams, but I mean, you're virtual. I'm sorry about that. Uh, oh, we got we got AIDS in the house. Okay, I have to kick that guy. Corona. Okay, we might have to start kicking out some people. <laughs> it's a Corona. No, that's fine. We should be seeing around 15 teams. Let's go. Little chef, big chef. Eight eyes, good. Got this. Oh, yeah, I Oh, yeah. Um, oh, all right, all right. We are 16. That's good. No more AIDS. No more AIDS. No more AIDS. 
God damn. Why are there so many teams? It's one team for table, people. Come on. All right, we're going to start. We're going to start. You better be ready. All right. All right. Is Netflix an AI? Come on. Netflix an AI. Easy question. Hey, don't Google it. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. Let's check it out. All right, CNN. Who's CNN? Oh, yeah, CNN. Let's go. All right, next question. Next question. Father of AI is. <laughs> John McCarthy, people, come on, come on. This is even fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, that, that was a disappointing round to be honest, but Minuscule Chef, congratulations for being first as of right now. <laughs> Which of the following was one of the first chatbots? Come on, come on. Surely it's Siri, right? Come on. Oh, it's an it's an Which company terminated their AI program after bots made their own language? Oh, shit. <laughs> the answer is not going to surprise you. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, that was obvious. That was obvious. Mr. Mark can't keep service running. How's he going to make a chatbot? Come on. <laughs> oh, middle school chef still on top. Who's middle school chef? Yeah, tiny chefs. Let's go. Question number five. The robot that got Saudi citizenship. <laughs> Shit, you scared about the answer. <laughs> Ah, all right. That was easy. That was easy. Okay, okay. <laughs> so same team on top. Hey, hey, Corona's on fire, though. Corona's on fire. All right, good job, good job. Who, who wrote? Who chose humans? Who chose humans? Come on, don't be shy, don't be shy. <laughs> There's, okay. Question number seven. Amazon supported voice assistant is named as. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> Okay, whoever answered Echo, you may leave. Next. 
Middle school chef still on top. Aids for five answers. Steve. Come on. Deep Blue was the first com computer to be the reigning world chess champion. True or false? True or false? What's up, people? Virtually, I hope you're also doing the Kahoot and you're enjoying it. Uh, just a little bit of fun. Hope you can hear me. True! Okay. Yeah, it's a bit dead now. At least before I talk to you. Uh, people in team right, second last maybe. question. Which of the following is an example of AI? Come on. question is double points. So you can still win it. Double points, come on. Which chair are we currently in? The moment of truth. Who's gonna get the tickets? Third place, medium chef. Second place, Ace. Oh, middle school chef. Congratulations on your free tickets. That means you have to go to our next event. Thank you very much. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this short Kahoot. My time is done here. I'm going to pass it to uh, Yakub, my partner, and he's going to teach you about the image classification program that he developed. So I hope you all enjoy. And thank you very much. Hello everyone. So today we're going to be starting with the image of classification. If you've seen that on the advertising, hopefully be as fun as the Kahoot, but hard to beat. So image classification is an algorithm that looks at images and assigns a tag to them from a predefined set. As humans, we constantly perform this task for our world perception. Uh, from identifying the room number as you came in, to telling the difference between vodka and water, which as a Polish person, I found quite hard. Um, uh, so, specifically today we'll be focused on the supervised single label classification, where each one image will be assigned a single label, uh, which was given by a human. So, 
it won't be done automatically. You have to do it by yourself. Um, so the output of our model will be the prediction probability. So the image will have a probability of each label. That makes sense. Um, and this is known as one hot encoding. And it uses the softmax function, which we'll be doing later on. So we've got an example from Facebook of uh, So we'll first look at the single layer neural net, which will be easy to train and you won't need to know any programming. And then we'll move on to using a bit of programming with the convolutional neural networks. So neural networks, <coughs> before we start, um, so uh, neural networks are a structure of node layers. Uh, categorized into input layers, hidden layers, and output layers. There's also various different types in within those categories, such as the convolutional layers, which we'll be covering later. Each node has parameters. These are like settings that dictate the node's behavior. Um, these will be adjusted during training uh, as to give the desired behaviors we want. And most importantly, the data set you use is crucial. If you put as you got, what you put in is where you get out. Okay, I need to paste the links now. So I'll be pasting links on Discord and WhatsApp. If you guys can get up on your laptop. And it's in the on Discord is in the talks and workshops channel. Yeah. 
you share the website on uh, Facebook? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if you guys can't get up, it's on the Teachable, um, well, it's Teachable machine, the link, and it's on the uh, uh, workshops channel on Discord, and hopefully on WhatsApp. <coughs> Guys, see if you are on Discord, the link has been posted on the Talks and Workshop channel. Okay, not in the general one, in Talks and Workshop. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, right. Yeah? Can I use your phone to take pictures? My camera is broken. Piece of shit. Look at this crap. Look at the check. I'm not looking at the check. I don't know if I have it. Alright, thanks. I'm going to be taking pictures of you and referring you to what I'm doing. Your screen will break down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh. We good? Everyone ready? All right. So, as as you can see, this is the uh, Teachable Machine app created by Google. It's great to train your image classifiers. You don't need to know any programming. And uh, our first step is going to be to gather some data. So uh, you can either use your webcam and take and take pictures uh, of objects, of the weird objects that I lately posted last night, or you can find some images online. So if you just click the webcam button, Yeah. Well, God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
It takes so long to place the laser gun. It's fine. All right, all right, everybody. So I'm assuming you have the Teachable Machine link open. Yeah? You guys should have Teachable Machine and Google Colab open on your, on your computer. Yeah? Do you? Okay, that's good. So, Jakob, well, you tell them what they have to do now. All right, so as I said, you can either get your pictures up of them through a comfortable using the webcam, or if you brought any weird objects, place them next to the camera and we'll be taking pictures. So my first one's a telephone box. So you'd want around 30 or 40 pictures, just so the and shake it around a bit so there'll be some variance in the data. So now we've gathered our data, hopefully it'll be good enough, and we'll train the model by just clicking the train model button. So now that we train the model, we could either use it for we could either run it in here, but as as we all know, machine learning does require some programming. So we'll be exporting it uh, into Google Colab and going from there. So just click the export model button, navigate to TensorFlow, and download the model, ensuring that it's on the Keras. So this may take a while as it's exporting it, uh, but at the end of it, you should have a zip file with a .h5 uh, model in it and the labels.txt. Let's take it, it's time. <laughs> Wasn't too far, we got it. So it just sounds a bit. Normal tensor flow, right? No JavaScript. Yeah, it's the uh, just the tensor flow tab and click export on Keras. Right. On the edges, they can barely hear you. Can they not? Yeah, they're all right. I'll go, I'll go around. Around. What's up, people online? How are you doing? 
Um, catch it. You're supposed to put a picture in each class and uh, download that model uh, using with TensorFlow. Yeah. Hope you can hear me. It's a little bit chaotic here. Kicked you in the nuts and you want to scream at them, you're mad. 
So hopefully you guys managed to download it. Come on, dude. You gotta get your absolute weapon like the shadow. So, uh, has everyone found the Google Colab link? <clears throat> if you haven't, put your hand up. You think it's better if I whistle? <laughs> no, I don't even whistle. Should I whistle? Okay. Wait, I'm gonna ask you right. Okay. Okay. Right, so before we start using Google Colab, so before we start using Google Colab, we've got to turn the GPU on. So we'll just click on edit. Go on edit. <laughs> uh, notebook settings and hardware acceleration in the drop down. You have to select GPU, so uh, a model won't take like two hours to train. So, hopefully, you've managed to export the teachable machine. Uh, so you just have to drag it into the files box. <laughs> right. So so the first step is just normal imports. Uh, and now this test if you've enabled your GPU. So if you get if you get an error saying GPU device not found, then you've done something wrong. And now if we end up So you've kind of already cheated and seen the model running within Teachable Machine, but I've kind of replicated the code simply in Google Colab. So just we just need to run the webcam setup script, and then oh, allow it. And this should uh, export a photo. Uh, dot jpeg into the file system and the model should be able to run from there. I have a question. Who's that? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Finally, all right. Okay, you should take down what they should be after they don't know. Because they all of them they are asking, right. where should they put the unzipped spot? Where should they unzip the spot? I'm guessing some of you guys are confused about what you do when you unzip it. So after you download it, if everyone managed to export it, uh, you should get a download folder. All you just need to do is unzip it and then you can drag those files on the right and the left. All of you have heard that, that makes sense. Yeah. All, all I did was highlight this and drag it over here. Sorry? Yeah, all the files in the download folder should be in Google Cola. problems you can export the model by clicking on the export model button then you click on TensorFlow you select Keras and you can download your model when you download your model it will be a zip file you need to extract the content of the zip file in another folder or even in the same folder if you prefer okay the zip file contains these two files now we are extracting. <coughs> okay, the place of find. Once you extract, you will see these two files: keras underscore model dot h file and labels dot txt. You need to go on Google Colab now. This little icon here, the folder icon. Then go back. Jump uh, click here. 
Okay. Now it's this one. Okay. Yeah. Take the folder icon. Yeah. No, you don't need to go. That's why everyone gets confused. You need to go to content. Yeah, but you, exactly. it's already in the content by default. Oh, okay. <laughs> then you, you select the content folder, folder and you put those files in the content folder. If you have any questions, I'm available to help. Yes. All right. All right, hopefully, hopefully I got everything sorted out. But once you've got the webcam view, what you need to do, hold up your object or whatever training, whatever pictures you took during training, click capture. Where's the oh, this So now you can see that's created the photo.jpg. And now we go into the photo model inference stage. Uh, there's a form on the side if you've saved it as a different name or whatever, but it's, this should all work if you follow the instructions by default. And just run the cell. <laughs> What's happening? Some guy came to me and he told me there was an error. Yeah, well, apparently that, that looks like error. Why does it not work? Fuck <laughs> it. I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> ah, shit. Where's it? Where's that? It's not that. No. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Alright, well, embarrassingly, we see it down there, and we don't, so the first thing that won't work. But uh, as you can see, once you get into the model, uh, next cell will run onto the camp, visualize the structure of the model. So as you can see, we've got one into the layer, one into the layer, from one out, and it's not very deep, so it's going to be able to do it. So this leads us on to the next part. Guys, unfortunately, we've over. Like the server is crashing essentially. We've done WhatsApp, now we're going to another website. We're going to dominate the entire industry. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to pull forward with everyone's conversions because I think most of you are stuck in the download phase, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, we're just going to go over through the theory. The essential part of this exercise was to understand that because it was a poorly made neural network, you wouldn't be able to do a very good level of classification. And now Jacob's gonna 
Jack is going to demonstrate how convolutional neural networks advance the technology. So we're sorry about that. We didn't expect that the server couldn't handle all of you. So how do we improve our model? Well, it's by using the combinational neural networks. They're better at detecting the intricate details in your images and compare it generalized outside of the training set. So, as I said, we need a bigger model and we're also going to include the combinational layers. So, similar to the simple neural networks, uh, we've got a whole structure of nodes, but this time uh, the hidden nodes in the middle of the convolutional layers for matrix operations. So, I could, uh, as I could, as you can see, in the middle we've got a kernel, which is like a matrix, and this is shifted along the image, as you can see in dark blue, and it results in uh, a new value uh, in dark green, which is passed onto the next layer. So these can be used to take edges, shapes, colors, and many more. Uh, in in the program, uh, in the uh, Python library, we're using TensorFlow. It's known as a Conf2D. So the next layer we also need is max pooling. Similar, uh, similarly to the one previously, this reduces the size of the image. However, instead of using a kernel, it takes sectors of the image and fix up the maximum value from each pixel. So as you can see, like the bottom, the very lovely ones, the maximum is eight, and that's what's passed on to the next layer. So this is our new CNN model. We've combined our conv convolutional layers with the max pooling. And so we're gradually reducing the size of the image to better generalize it. Uh, it not only gives you better performance as opposed to saving a massive image, but it also keeps the model from overfitting and focusing on weird details not necessary. So as it's a big model, we need a big data set. And uh, TensorFlow provides us with the flowers data set. Um, might take a while to load. But as opposed to the teachable machine you train on 80 images in each class, this one's got like thousands. So the first step is to create the training set and the validation set. So uh, we use a uh, training, uh, well, we, we split the data uh, by, uh, so one fifth goes into the validation set, which we save until later. So we train on the training set as to, well, get the general sense of the images. And then the validation set, the last 20% is used to, as indication of how well your model predicts. So if we, if we train on all the images, we would, would basically, our model could remember all the images and we'd get 100% accuracy and you'd think your model is perfect. When in reality, you know, you give it another flower it's never seen before and it doesn't know what it is. So, so that's why we use the training date, the yeah, training split. So here we're just defining the model as you saw in the image on the slides. So um, this is the training step involves uh, well, a loss function and we which measures the how accurate we predict. And the metrics we're using is just accuracy, so we'll be out 100%. Um, and yeah, as you've enabled the GPU, it shouldn't take that long. Uh, as opposed to CPU, it'd be like you know, hours.
Luckily, uh, <coughs> so I did pre-train this last night. Uh, so I will try to send you guys the link on the Google Drive, and you'll be able to load up. Tony, okay, post it post on Discord. Because um, I'm ready to post which link. Well, post what link? It's on WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, let's just very quickly um finish this up. I'm trying. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Was it? It's quite sad that uh, that didn't work, but it wasn't our fault, so we have to yeah, stay yeah. relaxed. And so people were basically killing teachable machines. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So that maybe that's maybe my presenting will come. Sure. <laughs> Um, pick one fast. Yeah. Wait, wait, pick, pick one fast. This one, okay. this one, or this one. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. Can you do two pictures? Can you also add this one? Yeah. Um, no, no problem. Go back. Go back. No, wait, it's going to take a while to... Uh, well, maybe not, like a minute. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we should just cut it out and just be like, all right, people, this is it. This is terrible. It's fine, it's fine. What's happening? What's happening? I'm loading the... Basically, instead of trading, I've loaded up the weights. Come on. Come on. Let us know. Yes. So I just go around. <laughs> yes. Um, Giovanni, don't you think we should just cut the presentation short? Yeah. Is that okay with that? No. We still have one more time. Ah, fuck the switch up. It's a corner of our own. Okay. This is because um, people are not going to learn another way now, and this is kind of a shambles right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like we don't have time to do the problems. 